Magandang araw po sa lahat. So trending ngayon ang account ng Office 365 no wherein uh, ginagamit po siya to activate your account in DepEd Commons kasi may lumabas na memo from the office of uh, undersecretary uh, Alain Pasqua na we should update our details no doon sa uh, DepEd Commons. So since hindi po marami po sa under our division no sa Buangga Sibugay Division marami pa pong hindi uh, activated yung uh, Office 365 account so this morning po or today um, I'm going to show you no since you receive uh, your account no sa DPD email nyo So, paano siya i-activate? Paano natin siya gamitin? And how we are going to receive confirmation from DepEd Commons? So, first thing is to activate our Office 365 account. So, una pong ga gagawin natin, since na-receive nyo na yung temporary password and your account, you know, Office 365 accounts, so all you have to do is visit or open Uh, office.com yan okay uh, okay sorry yung account ko pala yung active okay so ito po siya uh, visit office.com and click sign in no take note of the account no i we, we sent to you so i'll be using another account Okay. And yeah. So I'll be using another account uh para makita talaga, no, makita talaga ninyo how to activate no your account under R9 tenant. So may mga accounts po na wala pong R9 meaning they are created from the main domain or the main tenant our department. So may mga R9 so they are created under R9 tenant. Okay, region 9 tenant. Okay? So, click next. No? Pag-type natin. And the password. So, may mga temporary pass, temporary password po kayong na-receive. Uh, dyan sa, ano po ninyo, uh, sa email na nasend namin na sa inyo. So, type nyo lang yung temporary password. And, okay lang, never, no? Okay. So, all you have to do now here is type your current password and create your new password. Take note, yung password yung yung new password po natin dapat combination of characters uh, special characters no capital letters capital letters small and special characters it could be uh, and also another number so heads up lang uh, very strict po si Microsoft pagdating dun sa uh, password no so dapat strong po yung password so i'm going to have uh, a new password for this account no Alright. So I'll be creating this. Alright. So sign in. Ayan. So antayin lang po. Okay, no lang po tayo. So next. Now. So you will it will prompt you this uh dialog bar or this window that you need to have an authentication email and also security questions so either of these two you are going to set up okay so for this time no for this time i'm going to have authentication email okay i'm going to set up authentication email so make sure that your authentication email is active no So I would suggest use your DepEd email. So I'll be using mine. That go of that page. Okay. So email me. So now I'm going to check my email and take note of the code. Okay. So open ko yung email. All right. So you will have this email, no? 
So, papakita ko lang yung email. So, yan. Sign in ako sa email ko. Right. So, magkaiba po ang dipid email and account po ni Office 365. So, si dipid email under Google eh, under Google Suite and si Microsoft under uh, yung Office 365 under Microsoft. Okay? So, ayan. So, pag-receive natin ng email, punta tayo dun sa updates. Ayan. So, ayan po. Microsoft on behalf, dipid R9 account email verification code sent. Okay? So, check natin. No? Check natin yung code. At kopyahin natin yung code. Ayan. Kinopya ko yung code. At paste natin dito. Ayan. And verify. So, now you have your authentication email is set to my email. So, every time I forgot my password of Office 365 account, of my Office 365 account, I'll just have, uh, no, for reset or for reset my password and another authentication code will be sent to my email okay finish po click finish and there you go so you have this in this interface so welcome or to office 365 dashboard so this is your dashboard okay so heads up po yung office 365 po natin you can install five a laptop or desktop no five uh, th this is a license and five uh, android phones and five ios or mac os so 15 po lahat ng device 15 po 15 devices na pwede natin gamitin yung office 365 po natin so since the purpose of this video is to activate note or to receive confirmation email coming from Deped Commons. So, hindi mo na natin install to. So, later on, no, I will have my other, another video of how to install uh, Office 365, 365 in your laptop or desktop. Okay? So, ayan. Pag na-open na natin yung Office 365, mayroon po dito sa gilid. Okay. Outlook. Okay? Outlook. So, sa Google, mayroon tayong Gmail. Sa Microsoft, mayroon tayong Outlook. So, ito yung repository of all emails. Okay? So, tingnan po natin yung Outlook Inbox po natin. Ayan. So, Outlook, Outlook Inbox, mayroon po dyan. Nakal, mayroon po dyan. Ito, you must receive this. Okay? Ayan. Ito po. Ito po yung account. Or ito po yung email coming from DepEd Commons. So, since nakita natin or naka-attach to itong steps na to naka-attach to sa memo ni Yusek Alain so all we, all we have to do is to follow the instruction no under this email okay yan to activate click on this yan so click on this to activate so click natin yan ayan so confirm yan po okay so, new password. Create na natin yung new password. Uh, I will have my new password here. Um, so, after confirming my new password, change my password. And there you go. You have your account. No, You can edit your Tipped Commons no, account. So, ayan. Uh, all you have to do is fill up the form and after that then say then update okay so yun lang po ganun lang po siya kadali paano natin i-activate yung DepEd Commons account natin okay so hopefully this video will help you on the activation of your Office 365 account and DepEd Commons account okay and make sure po make sure naka-fill up kayo ng uh, survey form na binigay ng division office para po makita uh, makita ko kung sino po yung hindi pa po uh, registered at kung sino pa pong hindi MIE yung Microsoft Innovative Educator baka at 
at the long run po makikita ko na we need to have we need to train uh, every teacher to be an a Microsoft Innovative Educators kasi marami pong mga learning materials sa Microsoft Education na pwede natin gamitin inside the classroom and hopefully uh, magkaroon tayo ng another session no for or webinar regarding on the features the new features of Office 365 accounts na pwede natin gamitin inside the classroom. So, yun lang po. Maraming salamat and hopefully na makatulong ito. And good day. And good luck po sa pag-activate ng accounts ninyo.